Hey, what's up? I'm Inez Alea from TolerateTinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to get hit by a car. from toleratedcinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create something pretty awesome and you already know what it is getting hit by a car alright so let's jump into After Effects and get started alright so here we are in Adobe After Effects and I actually prepared uh, three items here that is the car pass by where we have a car driving in front of the camera now we have the footage itself where I'm just talking to the camera and then I have some sound um, that actually replicates the hit with the car. So what we'll do is drag in our footage into a new composition like so. Zoom in a little bit and I'm going to change this to full resolution. I'm also going to drag in the car pass by right here and put that on top. So now the idea is actually to go and find the spot where I actually hit myself. So the car drives right over here. We're going to pick the footage right here, and drag it on top, press T on the keyboard and lower the opacity to 50%. And now we're going to hold the page down, well press the page down key on our keyboard until we see that the car is actually hitting myself. And what we want to do then is just go to the car pass by, go to edit, split layer, put it on top right here. Or actually we're going to duplicate it, edit, duplicate. And we're going to put this one on top and then again go a little bit farther away until it's out of the frame right here okay so I'm going to trim this down like so so we have here the car the car the car so we have three layers with the car and just the footage right here press T on the keyboard for all of these layers and just put them all back to 100% and close them all down so now we have myself here and now we have the car passing by and I disappear for a second and then I'm back right here. So what we want to do is actually click on that layer with the car and we're going to try and mask out our car. It can be very rough, something like so. And there we go, press F on the keyboard, change the feather to 50 or so, or maybe 25, um, there we go. And press M on the keyboard again to click on the stopwatch for the mask path. And now we're going to animate the mask a little bit. So first of all, I'm also going to change this to none so you can actually see the car and then move a few frames, move over the mask, maybe arrange something so it actually um, fits the entire car so we can move these points a little bit more to the right, doesn't really matter that much and just drag it over like so. Okay, and there we go. Now we can just put it on the side of our screen. There we go. So now what we can do if we change this to add we're going to see ourselves right here so now actually the car is just passing in front of us like so now on the hit of the car that's right here we want to click on our actual original footage go to edit and split the layer again right click and go to time freeze frame now we can go into our mask pen tool again so we can zoom in and now we need to mask out ourselves. Okay, so there we have ourselves masked out. And what we wanna do now is also set this to add like we have it right here. Click on that footage and now go to the puppet tool right here, which is the puppet pin tool. Click on that, zoom in, and now we want to actually make a puppet of ourselves like so. You can add as many points as you want yourself. I'm just gonna make a few right here, and there we go. Okay, press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes for the puppet pen tool. Move a few frames like so, and now we want to actually wrap ourselves around the car. And there we go. So you can really get creative here, take your time, put it on top of the car, uh, car pass by as well. And go to effect, click on the puppet, and then you'll see all these dots, and you can wrap yourself around the car like you just got hit by it. And this looks already pretty cool, maybe a little bit longer over here. And there we go. 
click on the um, motion blur right here for that layer. So toggle the switches if you don't see that. So click right over here and go to the enable motion blur for that layer. And you'll, now you'll see something like this, which is pretty cool. Then once you've done that, press P on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch for the position. And then move until the entire car is out of the frame. And then we're going to click on that layer and just move it right over here. Move back a little bit to see if everything is in the right position. And we can see that it is not. And there we go. So this looks a lot better. And there we go. We're getting something like so. And let's do a small preview starting from here to here. So I'm doing this with B and N to make an in point and an out point. And then press zero on the numpad to do a preview. Maybe everything is going a little bit too fast for the puppet tool right here. So we can go back into that footage, press U on the keyboard and just click on these keyframes or select all of these keyframes for the puppet tool and then just drag them over a little bit like so. Okay, so there we go. That's already basically it. Uh, but if you have the chance to actually get a car that is driving a little bit faster than this car is doing, uh, it's going to look more realistic for this kind of effect. So you can really go advanced car hits. This is a pretty basic one, a very simple one. Um, but if the car is going faster, it's going to look a lot more uh, realistic. So what we can do to resolve this shot, because the car is a little bit slow, uh, we can close everything down, go to and select all the layers, go to layer, pre-compose this, move all the attributes into a new composition. So we'll uh, rename this to car hit comp and click OK. And then right here from the start that a car is actually starting over. Another thing that I did wrong here is uh, the car pass by should actually start right here. OK, so make this as long as you need to and then go back to that footage. And there we have it, looks pretty cool. We can start it right over here, right click, time enable, time remapping, click on the keyframe for the time remapping right here. And then once the car is passed by right here, click on that time remapping. And then what we wanna do is select this keyframe and the last keyframe of the time remap. We're going to just bring this a little bit closer together like so. And then we can trim the comp area right here and let's do a preview. So the only thing that we did here is to make the car a little bit faster. What you can do as well is just mask out the top because you actually see that the trees are moving a little bit quicker. And uh, it's just a simple trick that I just uh, tried, but just make sure that the car is going a little bit faster. So what you can do here is on the hit, you can actually add some sparks. You can add smoke. You can even go and Photoshop the car uh, to be damaged and this is not what we're going to do. I'm just going to import some smoke. I'm going to be using some of our smoke from our own pack. I'm going to drag it in here and just drag it over like so. Put it right here. Press T on the keyboard. Maybe change it to 50% and trim it down right here at this hit. And now we have some smoke puff going on. Press P on the keyboard to keyframe that smoke puff to actually go along with the car. and also toggle on the motion blur for it. Okay, pretty cool. And now the last thing we need to do is on the actual hit, we need to add some sound effects. This is really going to sell the effect. So what we're going to do is use our sound, press L twice on the keyboard. Uh, so you actually reveal the waveform right here. And you can see that right here is when the hit comes. So we can drag this over and just make sure that this aligns with the time he hits the person. And let's preview. Okay, pretty cool. Then also make sure that you are using the sound of the car. So we can make this completely as long as we want it to be and just toggle on the audio, go back to the footage and then preview. And that's basically it. So it's really simple to create a car hit effect in Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. And also definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer, just like the smoke that you just saw. It's from one of our packs on our website. It's currently not out yet, but once you might see this video, it might be. So definitely check the links in the description and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.